I wanted to share with you um, some thoughts that I had as I read my devotions this morning. I read from a few different books. And this morning, I'm thinking about the things that we carry with us through life. It was interesting that one of my devotions this morning was titled Packing Light, and another was called A Load Too Heavy. Um, and I am reading from Hebrews 12, verses 1 through 3. And in it, I began to see how much we can carry with us and what we can get entangled in. Let me read from Hebrews 12, 1 through 3 for us. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles us. And let us run with perseverance the race that is marked out before us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. I just love that visual of throwing off everything that hinders us and that can entangle us. And as we were reading and talking about it together this morning, Bob and I were talking about some of those things that can hinder us are just all the things we carry in life, things that distract us, things that actually make life good. But things like the responsibility of taking care of your home, um, the responsibility of having things. Everything that we have takes some time and some care. And so just beginning to realize that we need to let go of some of the stuff that we're carrying. The other thing that it talks about is the sin that so easily entangles us. And that can be anything that becomes burdensome. It can be guilt for things that we've done wrong. And we know that we don't have to carry that because Jesus did endure the cross and he offers us full forgiveness. So we can lay that down. But it can also be things like anger or unforgiveness, things that we're holding on to that only get heavier as we carry them. And Jesus has invited us to set those down at the foot of the cross too. It is not ours to avenge, it is not ours to be angry, but we can forgive because we have been forgiven. And so letting go of those things, things like anger, unforgiveness, and letting go of the stuff that holds us captive can set us free, free to run the race that God has for each one of us. And we know that God has good plans for us. He has plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us a future and a hope. And we know that God created us with a purpose. He wants us to live into the plans he has for us. And the only way that we will be able to do that is to throw off all the excess and to listen for God. And the other great thing is when we throw off the excess, when we get rid of all the stuff we're packing around with us, we're free to actually listen and hear God. I wanna share with you one poem um, that I got from another devotion this morning. This is called Streams in the Desert. And in it, there is this prayer for stillness. Um, and, and earlier in the devotion, I just wanna share this with you. It talks about waiting on God and how hard that is for us to do. 
And it says to remember that the amount of time we spend with God is critical because our hearts are like a photographer's film. The longer they're exposed, the deeper the impression. I love that. And it also says this, God's vision, in order for it to be impressed upon our hearts, we must sit in stillness before him. And we have to sit for quite a long time, remembering that the troubled surface of a lake cannot reflect an image. So if we get rid of all this other stuff and we can still our hearts before God, then he can come, he can speak to us, and we can go and run the race, going after the vision that he gives us. Let me share this poem with you. Speak, Lord, in the stillness while I wait on thee, hushing my heart to listen in expectancy. Speak, O blessed master, in this quiet hour. Let me see your face, Lord, feel your touch of power. For the words that you speak, they are life indeed. Living bread from heaven, now my spirit feed. Speak, your servant hears you. Be not silent, Lord. My soul on you does wait for your life-giving word. I just want us to be a people who fix our eyes on Jesus, who give ourselves over to the stillness so that God can give us his vision for our lives. And so today, think about ways that you can unpack the stuff of your life. Get rid of the things you no longer need and especially the things that you were never meant to carry. The burdens of worry, the burdens of guilt, the burdens of shame, burdens of anger. Give all those up to Jesus and then let him tell you what's next. I'd like to pray for us. Dear God, I thank you that your mercies are new every morning. I thank you, Jesus, that you did endure that cross for us, scorning its shame, and you now sit on the throne at the right hand of God. Thank you that it is finished and we can let everything go before you. Thank you, God, that you love us so much, that you give us a brand new day and you give us purpose. And so, Lord, as we go into this day, help us to be still and listen for your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So if you can today, maybe find five or 10 minutes to just sit still and you can reflect on those words again from Hebrews 12, one through three, and just listen to what God has for you. Bless you today, hope to see you all on Sunday, whether live or on live stream um, as we gather for worship. Um, also, just wanna remind you that we do have ICA Drive next week. Um, and so those are just a couple things coming up. Looking forward to seeing you all. Have a blessed day.